Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are on our Let's Clash account, our Town Hall 8. And we are moving up, guys. We are upgrading a whole lot of stuff. As you can see, we've got a lot of loot. I've got two of my barracks boosted. I'm going to fill one of them with barbarians and the other one <coughs> with archers so that that way um, I can boost up a little bit but not too much um, and it's only going to cost 20 gems which you can get from a gym box. Uh, <laughs> so it's definitely worth it. Uh, and then we'll fill this one up as well. But as y'all can see, we have a whole bunch of loot. So we've definitely got some stuff that we can upgrade. Our P.E.K.K.A. is going to be done very, very soon. Uh, only six more hours. And then we've only got spells to upgrade besides the Dark Troops, which is going to be hard to do. But uh, as we stay here and as we max out this base, we're definitely going to start farming for Dark Elixir and all that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to max out everything else before I move on to that. But... First off, you can see that I made a couple of changes. So uh, we had some walls up here uh, that were kind of built out from the corners, blocking off a builder's hut. And then we also had walls from right here going uh, up to this wall. Oops. Um, and I took those and I moved them. I made these walls bigger up here at the top. And then I put all of these down here in front of these buildings so that if people drop off, uh, wall breakers they will go after those buildings because they attack walls with buildings behind them so depending on where they drop them uh, hopefully that will work and that'll go well I think it makes the base look a little bit better too um, I did get annihilated by a max hog raid but what are you gonna do they were maxed out they were they just absolutely annihilated my base you can see up here at the top 100 percent 26 max hogs uh, two witches a level 10 queen so um, of course they're gonna dominate when uh, this isn't a hog base so uh, but first of all let's go ahead and look at what we can upgrade so as we all know our mortars our uh, cannons almost all of our archer towers are maxed out so that is the first thing we're gonna upgrade right here this is going up to level 10 it's gonna be done in five days and then all of our archer towers will be maxed out at level 10. You can see there's a 10, there's a 10, there's a 10, and there is a 10. So this is our last one. All of our cannons are maxed out at 10 as well. We do still need to, nope. So that one's at seven. This air defense, it what? Oh, okay, it's at six. This one's at five, and this one is at five. So we do still have two of our air defenses uh, to upgrade as well. Can we upgrade? We can upgrade a Dark Elixir Drill, but it is boosted for another 15 hours, so I'm probably not going to do that because that will, uh, well, uh, no, let's go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and do it because it was one gem. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and boost this bad boy um, and get that up and running, and then let's go ahead and get an attack in since we don't have a shield right now. So we're going to see what kind of base we can find. Uh, I've been finding pretty good ones at this area. Uh, around 12, 1300, moving up and down in there. It depends on if I lose when I go after the loot or if I go after the trophies as well. But I'll go ahead and cut here so you guys don't have to watch the search. Then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds once we find a base that is uh, ready to just be annihilated. All right, so I'll see you guys in a few seconds, okay? All right, guys, so we are going to attack this base for sure. Um, as you can see, most of the loot is in the mines and pumps, so we're just going to spread out uh, a bunch of our barbarians around, bring out bring out the archers, and we're going to spread out the archers as well to help take out these uh, collectors. As you can see, uh, this person probably had them boosted and it just ended or something like that. So we're just going to drop off. We're not going to drop off too heavy at this point because... Uh, we do have some other troops training up, and when we get back, we might even be able to go out for another raid. So you can see that um, the gold is almost all gone. There's only 10,000 left. We're about to get the majority of the elixir as well. We've got our star. There's really no point in, uh, in attacking any further. And this is another thing, guys, when you have uh, camps boosted and stuff like that, that you don't have to go for the max loot rage. Y'all can see uh, 
before that how how much I spent on searching. So we got 90,000 gold, 125,000 elixir. Uh, so that's a total of 200,000 in resources. And we get back here and we see now that our army camp is at 190, right? So all that that means is that now I just get to attack again uh, in like literally two seconds because of that uh, attack and me not deploying all my troops. So if there's just a little bit of loot left over, then don't go all out for it because you can save your troops and attack again in just a moment. So um, I'm going to let these troops chain up and then I'm going to search for another attack and we'll get two attacks in a row for you guys and we will be back in just a second once again uh, getting multiple live attacks in for you guys. So hold tight and let's see if this is it. Nope, it's not. <laughs> I was looking for a while and I couldn't find any bases with... Here we go. We're definitely going to attack this one. And again, we're probably not even going to need to fully deploy. So we're going to drop off a wave of barbarians and then a wave of archers. And honestly, this is probably going to be all that we have to deploy to get all this loot. Um, I was looking for bases that currently had all their things boosted but didn't find any. Look at this loot that we're getting from this. So again, you can see there's 18,000 elixir left, but I would have to deploy, thus using more elixir, to get into the rest of, of the elixir that's in here. That mortar would crush us. And it really isn't worth it. I do, however, want to get the loot bonus. So um, I am going to deploy and try and get 50%. Uh, there it is right there. I didn't even need to deploy those guys on the army camps. That's hilarious. Uh, but we can go ahead and uh, we'll finish the battle right there. And then we'll come back again. So that's 89 and 88,000, guys. And again, that was probably the amount of troops that I just used on that attack. Uh, is probably what I had left over from that previous attack. So that was 80, 80. The other one was 90 and 120. So we're looking at, uh, I don't know, close to four or 500,000 in, eh, no, about 400,000 in total resources uh, just from one full army camp. So it's very smart to try and pay attention to how much your troops are worth and if it's really worth deploying the rest of them to go and get that. Now obviously if you're going for trophies you're going to deploy all of them just to try and get uh, as much resources as as many trophies as you can but in this scenario uh, I'm not doing that but we are going to uh, we are going to have another raid in this video for sure. I'm just going to let these guys train up real quick and then I'll be back with you guys once again once uh, we find another base to attack. Um, as we're training up though, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for the support. Uh, I've been growing a lot lately. It's awesome. We're almost to 200,000 subscribers. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I started a second channel recently called Molt Plays. You can go check that out. I'm playing a game called Plunder Pirates, and I'm going to be putting some Xbox games on there once I get my PC, and I can record those. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun, but definitely go check out Molt Plays. Um, it's in the description of the video as well as the sidebar. Um, I'm playing a 3D Plunder Pirates game on there right now. It's pretty sweet. But we'll go ahead and let these troops train up, and then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds. All right? So hold tight. All right, guys. So here's this base. This base has a good amount of gold, and as you can see, it is protected pretty well in the center of the base. Um, so we are going to definitely need to take out uh, this mortar right here with two of our lightning spells. And then we're going to attack from this side uh, heavily with barbarians and uh, just try and distract and get our archers in here because we're going to have to get our archers into that into this mortar right here to help take it out. And um, I guess we can go ahead and spread out some barbarians around this side as well just to help take out some of these surrounding buildings. I really need to get rid of this mortar right here. Come on, guys. Nope, take out the mortar. Take out the mortar. Take out the mortar. Thank you. All right, so they took out the mortar. Uh, we're going to drop off a bunch of our barbarians. We're going to get them in here into the center. We'll go ahead and drop our king off as well, and he will head in there to help out. Uh, we'll drop off a couple of archers over here. Let's just get some more barbarians up here in the middle. They should be pretty well out of the range. Oh, that giant bomb is going to kill all of those barbarians. <laughs> that was absurd. Goodness gracious. They just absolutely wrecked that. We need our barbarians to turn. Nope. Come on. No, don't, why Why would you ever go over there? All right, so and we need to blah, blah, blah. And we need to drop off these archers so that hopefully uh, they can start ticking away at this gold storage because this gold storage right here has the majority of the loot in it. But that Tesla is doing work to us. So 
Uh, we're definitely not going to get all of that gold. Um, I probably... I definitely needed more archers on that attack. Uh, but we're going to be fine because we're going to take out the town hall, give us two trophies, we'll get um, our loot bonus from it. And I think we still got about 80,000 of the gold. Um, I do have a lightning spell, and I might just go ahead and do this and see how much we get from it. It's not going to be that much. Uh, yeah, so we only got 11,000 gold from that. Um, and that is all of our troops. Why isn't that? Oh, okay. We'll go ahead and end the battle right there. Somebody just GG out of me. So we got 84,000 gold, 42,000 elixir. Um, and guys, a lot of times when you are barching and you have your barracks boosted, you're going to attack bases with a lot less loot, but you're going to get more over time. Because while they're training up, like I need to attack because um, barge trains up so quickly that if I'm just searching for a long time for the best base that I can possibly find, I'm not being efficient. So when you are barging and when you have things boosted, make sure that you're attacking bases that have 80,000, 120,000. Don't always look for the big loot ones that have 250,000 or something like that. Because uh, as you can see in the last 10 minutes, we've gotten three raids in that were worth way more than that. Um, and no matter what, my troops are going to train up that fast. So that's why I love Bart. You can just go, 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 keep attacking, uh, and it's freaking awesome. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. We had three live attacks. The last one eh, wasn't too hot. Uh, we do have another builder. Let me see if we can upgrade anything. Um, what can we upgrade? I think that all of our pumps and whatnot are maxed out as well. Uh, I realized on my town all 10 that I still need to max out uh, a elixir collector um so we upgraded this dark elixir drill we upgraded this archer tower up here i guess we could upgrade a bomb or something along those lines both of these are level two we did just recently get another air bomb i believe it might have been that one uh what do we want to do where are our little bombs at let's go ahead and just upgrade one of these things um two hours yep we'll upgrade that and that'll be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching really do appreciate it you guys rock i've got some exciting news coming up for y'all uh, that I'll be letting you know about pretty soon. But again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.